Hello everybody, welcome back. Thanks for tuning us in to Haunted Town. Things are doing real good around here, guys. <laughs> I'm guessing you guys probably saw that last vid on the dyno, me shifting this thing on the dyno. Jerry finally gave it the okay. We usually don't shift bikes on the dyno. He said, yeah, go ahead and send it because we want to check that air fuel under shifts to make sure the carbs were going to respond. Oh, they did. <laughs> they did amazing, guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All together 100%. Right now, really what I'm waiting on, talk to people over at the racetrack. It's hot. Trying to find people to work right now is tough. They're probably going to be closed through August. So, trying to find me a little test hit spot where we can get this thing under power. Down the street. We'll see. <laughs> Who knows? But, muy bueno. Oh, oh, and her. Oh, baby. Baby girl. Look at you, baby girl. Oh, 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 oh. And of course, she is still sitting on the lift. All's good back here. Everything good. Nah, not right here. For some reason, you see the fuel leaking around it. That petcock, I think, I didn't realize, I think I ordered it from Japan or China. And it's on the slow boat. <laughs> it's taking forever to get here. I checked the tracking. It's on the way. It's coming. But it's moving very slow. So... And speaking of moving slow, I'm guessing you guys have probably noticed I've been a bit behind on my daily input on the from Honda Town. I destroyed my camera pretty good. <laughs> really good. Here in town, we had this awesome place. I've been there before. It's called You Break It, I Fix It. I broke it. They fixed it. They fixed it really good, guys. They did an amazing job <laughs> of it. We're working. <laughs> Let's hope we're working. Julie at You Break It, I Fix It. Or You Break, I Fix. She's an amazing tech. She broke this thing down. How, even getting it apart, she had to warm it up to get it apart. You can't just, it's not screwed together. You have to warm it up on a very heat sensitive controlled heat pad to be able to pull it apart, to be able to get in to work on everything. And she was able to plug it into her, into her system and be able to turn on all the cameras and see which one was bad. I didn't know you could diagnose these things now. She did. You break, I fix. I broke, they fixed. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. So, muy bueno. Somebody riding by there. Yep. Looks like somebody doing some electrical work. No fun there. But this, this guys, this, <laughs> this is what today is all about. Mr. Dagwood is ready to go on tour. He's 100%. It's so good, I can't even tell you. I done put, well, I think last night I put almost 90 miles on it. But yeah, yeah, I put 45 after I got gas. <laughs> I drained the tank. Drained the tank on it, went and filled it back up. Put another 45 miles on it on the way home. Sings down the highway now. It's so good. I kind of want to just give you guys a brief breakdown of what really what I did here. So I think you guys have seen some of it. All stock down here, 100% stock on the wheel and the brakes. Front blinkers, 100% stock, all good. Clears everything down here with the fairing. This is a 2018 Harley Street Bob fairing. As you see, it tucks in there just absolutely perfect doesn't hit the bars the splitter that little lip guys ah uh, it's so good Malibu hot rod it's a badass hot rod <laughs> but even riding down the highway at 90 miles an hour I can sit up and I can it's as peaceful as it gets it's so good guys the sparing oh my goodness it's silly good. When in doubt, 
had to trim it out here just for my headlight a little bit. I had to trim off just a little bit here, a little bit here. All fits good. A little bit of trimming goes a long way. And of course, the one thing I still need, <laughs> still looking for some good old side panels. I'd like to find some factory ones. I may go ahead and just order some aftermarket ones with the original decals on them because everybody loves to look at this thing. But they all come up and ask me, what is it? What, 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 it's a Honda, what is it? Everybody, is it a Magna? Is it a, is it a CB? Is it a, is it a VTX? <laughs> no, it's a CB750. And they go, oh, really? I wish the side panel would just say it. <laughs> it would make my job much easier. But, yeah. So, once again, back here. These are from, pretty sure they're from a, tw a 2007 Honda Valkyrie. Pop this one open here. And you guys can see I got my helmet, my little buckets, and I got my cooler back here. Got me a sodium my cooler. Got me some extra gloves. Got my bug slide. Got me a face mask. Oh, more sunglasses. Same thing on the other side. This is just for, really this is for my extras and my cooler. Love having that cooler, guys. <laughs> so nice to be able to pop open a cold, frosty, wherever you're at. Ready to roll. <laughs> Good to go. Over here, same thing. Just got all my whatnots in there. My helmet, my coolies, my, uh, there's gas money, <laughs> my, my cam holder, all kinds of stuff. Yep, my gasket's staying good back there too, so we're good. And then back here. One second, I'll show you guys what's back here in this little bag. Hold, please. Oh, and of course, I tried, but it won't let me. I got a speaker in there now, guys. <laughs> I was trying to play some music, but my phone, of course, I'm trying to record my phone. It wouldn't let me. So, but yeah, I got my speaker. Now we can sit, jam out. Of course, bag is just tied on to my backrest. And the backrest. Yeah, it's a Harley piece also. It's from a 2012 Road King. That was a takeoff at the dealership. It wasn't good. Chris, my boss, said, yeah, you can just go ahead and take that. It wasn't good enough to really put back on the showroom floor. I'll show you. It had some holes drilled in it down here, but I was able to just slide it. It slip fits on there with, with the bag mount. And I'll show you here, too. The bag mount, I didn't change at all. I added this bracket right here, moved up the foot peg. That's the original bracket that bolts on here. This little bracket right here I had to add so that it bolts on here because the hole was here and my bolt was here. So I added that little piece to come over here. Same thing on both sides. Same little piece. Boop. And then back here, it bolted onto the original. This is the factory bolt hole on the Honda CB750. It's underneath the blinker and there's just a factory mount here. I was able to bolt the bracket on and then my docking kit slid onto that. And then back here, right here, I had to make a little bracket that little bracket bolts on right here and that holds the backrest a hundred percent as you guys can see i'm moving the whole bike i didn't bend them down a hundred percent because i wanted to just kind of squish and it squished down and it's not letting go of that bracket same thing on both sides so it's good to go and dagwood is ready to go on tour <laughs> let me turn my speaker off here There we go. That's just a Bluetooth speaker. I was trying to jam some Bluetooth, one of my songs, but it wouldn't let me play one of my songs and record the video at the same time. Thanks, Bluetooth. <laughs> it was trying, but not quite. Yeah, guys, we're ready to ride. I cannot wait. We have some rides planned. I really, I think, I just want to do some more local riding here just to really get some, some miles on it, make sure everything's going to be good, the wheel bearings, whatnot. The tires are not the best on it. The rear tire, it fits, but it's not the correct one. It's good, it actually hooks up real good. The front tire is old and dry rotted. <laughs> it doesn't leak air even a little bit. It is a Connie tire, it's a Continental. So it's a good tire, but it needs to be replaced. I'm gonna go ahead and put a, probably a Avon Speedmaster up front, and I'll probably go back with another Michelin in the back. I like, the wider Michelin that the drag bike has, 
this will fit on there. It's a 130 90 17. So this will fit right on there, or at least the width will, because that's a 17 inch wheel. The spokes are 17s. And let me see, I think the this one is, oh, where's the size? Can we see? Yeah, right there, 215 18. So the, the, the mag wheel is an 18. The mag wheels are 18 inches and the spoke wheels are 17s. So big note there, otherwise you get the wrong tire. And a couple new tires on here. Maybe another fresh oil change just to double check. I want to check the filter, make sure there's nothing in there. But it's a nice thing about these two. With not having a cartridge filter, you know, it's just a it's just an open element inside this housing. So you pop that open, pull your filter out, you can look at everything around, you don't have to cut it open, mess with it, you can just look at it like, oh yeah, there's a problem. These are usually good. I use the high flows. One more time back in the shop here. I use the high flow filters. I thought I had one up here. Yeah, here's a couple different boxes. Oh, there's a K and N, but the high flows. There's another high flow. They make wonderful filters. They work great. And this here is a factory one. This is a factory filter right here. You can see the mesh is a little more wider and open. The high flows have a better mesh that actually really does flow better and it catches more. So they're good stuff. Good to go. That one's really just sitting there for testing. <laughs> Wipe off my fingers here. And once again, Honda Town is good to go. We're ready to go on tour. I cannot wait to get this thing out on the streets, maybe with some other bikes and make some noise and go have some fun. It's time to ride. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you so much. Like, share, subscribe. Get this out to the world. Way more to come from Honda Town. <laughs> Let's ride. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, and this was sitting down the street. I couldn't believe it. And I, had, I looked, and I stopped and was like, wait, is this free? It's a glass tabletop, I think from a bar that I've, clearly says free. And this thing is like a quarter inch thick, guys. It's not a little piece of glass. That thing's huge. It was kind of heavy, but it said free. It went in the back of my Honda. I think that's going to find a new home here shortly. Thanks for watching, guys. Let's ride.